little fans around the world. I don't know where you're coming from, but there's a lot of you coming. I'm getting a lot more subscribers now. I really appreciate that. And uh, at the same time, I used to give everybody a heart. I can't do that anymore. There's much too much many of you. Too many. And also YouTube, they used to be real good at cutting out some of the bad language you guys sent to me in, my, in your comments. Maybe, um, I don't think you're allowed to do that back in my days. No computer, no internet. Back in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, and the 90s, uh, I think the internet is thinking come up. Uh, sometime in the 90s for a lot of people. Not me, uh, I mean, uh, maybe 10 years, maybe 12 years, something like that. But uh, anyway, uh, even YouTube, uh, they censor your comments. There's a lot of young children just entering school and uh, have their own computers and their own uh, smartphones and everything else. I know people cut me down for many years. Oh, you're saying the N-word. Oh, you're saying the hard R. You're not supposed to do that. I didn't write the lyrics to those songs. And what about who censors your listening on the regular radio? When some of the singers, popper singers today, they sing the R-word, the N-word, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I am not racist, people. I love black people. I'm not gay, but I love black people. I like black people show. Did you guys watch 10, 20 years of uh, Soul Strain? Did you miss an episode? Did you dare miss an episode knowing how much I love music? And watching dancing and that show. It was very popular. I wouldn't miss that for the world. It came on Saturday morning. Anyway, um, we had this thing called a newspaper back then. Maybe your parents told you about it or you've seen one in the library. We don't get newspapers anymore. We pay uh, $1,800 a month just to get the internet. Who can afford a newspaper? <laughs> anyway, uh, we had Ann Landers back there and some other columnists. And we enjoy sending comments in to the newspaper and having other people read it, just like you do today with the internet. But people weren't allowed to swear back then either. Us old timers, we couldn't swear in public like you guys do today. It's the same today, people. YouTube does not like your swear words. Leave them at home. Besides that, I was brought up Catholic. Yeah, well, I, yeah, 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 I know. I sing a lot of dirty words in my songs. I didn't make them up, but I want to be popular like the, the real singers, like Drake, uh, Snoop Dogg, uh, Dr. Dre, uh, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, all those popular singers today making a big buck. And I'm lucky if I get enough change to buy a bottle of beer at the bar. But that's the way it goes. First your money, then your clothes. <laughs> anyway, just like today, YouTube tells you, leave your swear words at home, people. I know you're trying to impress the other fans. They read your comments and all that. Oh, look, that guy knows how to swear. <laughs> you ain't getting no points extra for that. Matter of fact, YouTube, they take your comments and put them on the side. For a creator like me, they got this column called Hell for Review. Right now I got 67 Hell for Review. And another part they got a likely spam. They got 200 people there. They keep the separate from other people's comments. And some, I don't know why they do it, but they do. I mean, what's so bad about, oh, I love this so much from Haley Potomy. What about, oh yeah, yeah, he should win an award. What's wrong with that? Why does YouTube do that? 
This is under uh, Hell for Review. Well, this one's worse. This one's uh, Kate in 180CZ. He says, this guy is fucking re a legend. Yeah, I know. I know. I sing that in my song. But it's in the lyrics, people. Don't pay attention. I don't talk that way in regular public. I have many black friends. There's a lot of black guys I work, I work with for 50 some years. I'm not a, a racist, I please. I was brought to come Catholic. We believe all people on earth should be treated the same. Not put into slavery. Not talk about in the year 2019 with the swear words and every other sentence. And where is here is buckets. But what the fuck is this is awful, you old shit. Oh, hey, I'm gonna race that fucking one. Nobody's gonna read his comment, bad comment about me. Can't believe I came here thinking I was going to like this. I fucking loved it. You can't even send comments like that, people. That wasn't allowed when we were young. We couldn't write swear words like that to the newspaper and have a uh, commentator read it. You're not being treated unfairly. Uh, here's another one. Sam Hollow. I nigger. This is a whole lot of gang shit on it, baby. That was on the Revenge song. Who is this man? Who is this man telling you to sign up for my channel? Is, is he another PewDiePie-like person? PewDiePie really helped me. I went from 8,000 to 190,000 people. Of course, some of the, uh, the singers help. Uh, Snoop Dogg uh, made a shout out about me from some song that came on Soul Train back in 1980. He, he thought I did a good job on it and gave me a shout out. There was another two or three other singers. I can't remember all the names. I'm getting too old to remember anything. Sometimes I forget who I am. You know, one morning, <laughs> The other day, I went to turn my computer on, and I called up AT&T and said, how come my computer is not working? I need my computer. And that guy was on the phone with me for an hour and all that. Let me try this, let me try that. And it turns out I uh, didn't like the lights coming from my computer when it's turned off, that one on the bottom there. And it's in my bedroom. We got a two bedroom apartment. My wife wanted to move here in these apartment houses so the kids could go to Paris schools.